triangle with a red light in the middle. The red light is right in the center of the triangle. We tried to zero in on this. We tried to clear it up. This is some of the clearest imagery of that jellyfish. And as you can see, it looks like an alien gray. We have chicken sold for cheap in a store that's made to manipulate you, multi-dimensional bugs, and creepy things caught on trail cams. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to some creepy TikTok clips that I found that might keep you up all night. Let's get into it. An interview was being conducted out of a Catholic Orthodox church with Father John. As he begins his story, weird banging comes from inside the church. There's nobody else there, so there should be nobody else creating this banging. He jokingly says it's the demons, but it progresses. Take a look at this video. This is, raises so many questions. Are there really other entities, demons? He played it off as a joke, but again, is there truth to it? Take a look at this and tell me what you think. Where's that coming from? Maybe it's woodpeckers. It's either that or the demons. They love to interrupt. And you know what demons really hate is that when you laugh at them, and you don't take them seriously, and you just say, oh, it's just you. It's, it's just you, Goofy, trying to interrupt the telling of uh, one of the greatest stories and parables ever told. Well, maybe I'll chase off the demons. I'll be right back. Hey, you guys. Hey, hey, be gone. <laughs> be gone. <laughs> and don't disturb us anymore. I'd be a little surprised that there was a demon in such a holy person's place. I would think that if this was a holy place, you wouldn't have demons just knocking around on the walls. But it's funny that he said, you know, to laugh at evil spirits and things like that. Because when I was a kid, that's how I actually got over being afraid of things. If I was afraid of the dark or things that might have been in the dark, I would always just kind of laugh it off and just chuckle to myself and be like, ah, there's nothing to be afraid of out there. And it made me feel better, so that's definitely a real thing, I think. And there's a comment in here that says it's probably a trapped kid, and that's kind of messed up. From here, it looks like a triangle. It is a triangle, with a red light in the middle. Wow. Wow, that's a weird looking trap. It is. The red light is right in the center of the triangle. That's unusual. That is weird. Now this is where you need to zoom in. <laughs> There's something right beside us here. There's stuff moving in the bushes beside us. That is amazing. Honestly, it's too hard to tell what it is. Like she said, right now would be a good time to zoom in. I'm assuming that if she would have zoomed in that it would have just become extremely blurry. It was already kind of a blurry video. And it's really interesting that they automatically assume that it's a TR-3B. And if I'm not mistaken, that's supposedly a reverse engineered UFO. So it was really interesting to see a video actually claim that they are seeing a TR-3B and not just a standard UFO. But as far as what that could be in the sky, I really have no clue. It has three solid lights and then a blinking red flashing light in the center. I don't know if that's a drone or if it really could be a TR-3B or a UFO of some sort. Let me know in the comments on what you think it is. I don't know if I'm being schizophrenic or something, but I feel pounding under my feet and listen. What the fuck? It's coming from like under the ground. I can feel the vibrations in my feet. It's like, dun, dun, dun. Like, what is that sound? It's coming from under the grass. Making me feel like I'm going insane or something. Like it's loud. It just stopped. What the hell, man? 
What was that? At first, I thought that the sound might have been fake. It sounded like it was just way too clear. But as soon as he went way up, it did actually fade away and the audio stopped. I really do not know what that could have been. It genuinely did sound like someone tunking on like wood or plastic of some sort. There's a lot of people in the comments of this video saying that it could just be an underground tunnel someone's working on. I would really like to know what this was. Hopefully there's a follow-up video. This video was only posted seven hours ago, so maybe there will be a follow-up in the future. If any of you have any clue as to what it could have been, leave a comment letting me know. You know why? You know why the chickens in Costco are so cheap? Just another day at Costco. Why? It's because they make you walk through and where do they put the chickens? I don't know. I've never been to in the very, very back. Okay, okay. So what happens? Oh, I'm going to get the cheap chicken. Uh, it's easy for dinner. What happens? You walk all the way there. You see the sides. You see the potatoes. You see all the other groceries, all the other items just to get to the chicken. And then by the time you're there, you come back around and you're like, oh, man, maybe I should pick up this because I can't just have chicken alone. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like I'm giving you one piece of the puzzle, but you probably need this, 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 this to complete it. Okay. They're smart like that. Yeah, that makes sense. You know they do that in stores? Like, every single store you go to, usually, if they're smart enough, they they actually use it. Like, take a look at all of the places, the big name brands, all the biggest shopping places. They utilize it there. They make you move in one direction. They move all the energy oh, in yeah. one direction. I've never been to a Costco, and I don't know how cheap their chicken is. If anyone knows how cheap the chicken is at Costco, let me know if it's actually a place worth going to. And as far as a store being laid out to be designed to intrigue people and grab people's attention, definitely, 100%, there's got to be a system laid out to gather people's attention to consume, right? But they don't direct you in one direction. You can, you're freely to go in most stores that I've ever been to. And honestly, where everything's going right now in the digital age, there's so many people purchasing things online, eventually stores aren't even gonna care about that kind of stuff. They're gonna eventually just move to where you can just purchase everything you want online, we'll make the website look pretty. Hey, if you could do me a favor real quick, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and like the video, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe, I'd really appreciate that. And for everyone that's already subscribed and or watching, thank you for being subscribed, and thank you for watching. Have you guys ever seen anything like this? Bro, what is going on with the earth? I don't know if this is a ant, a caterpillar, a spider, or a centipede, y'all. But this thing is looking crazy. It looks like an alien versus predator type of uh, creature. This thing was found in the woods of Tokyo, y'all. Ironically enough, I just posted a video about what's happening in Japan with the parasites. And you see this? Obviously, you can see the earth going through a change right now because when has ever this thing come into existence, right? How do you create such a thing? Unless they're out there in Japan, you know, putting different animal species together and splicing their genetics, which I don't put that past them, but this thing looks crazy. It looks like it knows exactly what it's doing, too. It looks like you don't want to mess with it. But yeah, y'all, have you ever seen anything like this? Yeah, this upgrade is going... This upgrade is literally going strong. Honestly, the comments to this video are hilarious. I do not know what that thing is. It looks horrifying. Okay, so I did a little research and it took a little while to, to find out what this bug was exactly, but I actually ended up finding the video that this person was using to question what that bug was. Apparently that bug is called a lobster moth caterpillar. And the funny thing is, is the video that he's playing, I could only find it on X, but in that video that he was playing, it actually tells you about what it is. So I don't understand why he said he don't know what it is or if it came from another dimension that was a bit of a reach but for anyone that was actually curious as to what that really was it is called a lobster moth caterpillar and they are really wild looking okay. hi, hi baby what are you doing? I don't know buddy actually I don't know James come here buddy Dude, that thing is moving so fast. Man, a plane, that's for damn sure. I, sir, do believe that that is a plane. That looks like a plane to me. Let me know what you guys think, but I'm pretty certain that i seen wings and a tail on it. That's just a blurry video of a plane. Okay, so everybody remembers Jeremy Corbell's Jellyfish Alien. And we tried to zero in on this. We tried to clear it up. This is some of the clearest imagery of that jellyfish alien. As you can see, it looks like an alien gray. I've seen other images 
where it's cleared up where it looks like there's more than one. But this one is self-explanatory. It shows you what's going on. This is an analysis of it. But with that being said, let me explain this. Just the other day in Chile, they saw not one jellyfish alien, but multiple jellyfish aliens of this same type alien. It's hard to see, but this is what it is. And I have analyzed it, looked at it. Look, guys, I'm telling you, you can zoom in on it. You'll check it out. You'll see what I'm talking about. Look at this. So let's check it out. This was in Chile. And like I say, you can zoom in on it. You'll see what I'm talking about. I didn't even do that. Because you're just as capable of doing that as I am. But that's what this is. It's those same type beings. Okay, you can see them here. See them? So tell me, what's going on with this, and who are they, and what do they want? Are these gray aliens? Are these cryptoid, crypto-terrestrials? Leave your comments. Let me know what you think. It's just way too hard to tell, honestly. I did not expect them to show that video of them just in the sky, those little tiny dots. I was expecting to see something really close up. But as far as the jellyfish UFOs go, it's, it's really hard to tell. I thought that they were debunked as being like, celebration balloons it just seems like there's a lot of ufo activity happened recently like there was a really dry period of not very many people finding things in the sky and now it just seems like all of a sudden after july there's just more and more videos of people finding ufos or just unidentifiable objects just floating around in the sky i'm just waiting for the day when one of these flying objects come and lands in front of us and we actually can get good video evidence of it It'll probably never happen, but that would be an amazing day when it does. Or a terrifying one, depending on what comes out of the object. You guys seen this video? I want to know if you've ever experienced anything like this. His mom is playing with her son when she notices he keeps looking behind her. She asks him what he's looking at. He says something that gives her the creeps. Some people think that he's just being silly or that it's just his imagination. I'm about to play both of the videos, but just watch what he does toward the end because I don't think he's making it up. Where's your favorite place to go? What do you see? I see stuff in a high chair. I see stuff in a high chair in a tent. You see what? A bad thing. A bad thing? A bad thing. Negative. What does it look like? A ghost. A ghost? There is one. No, no, there's no ghost. No ghost here, ghost be gone. I want to see it right here. Uh, mommy, clean my room. It's not scary in my room. It's not scary in your room? Mm -hmm. Well, you need to stop acting weird. It's scary too. It's not scary in here. I see everything floating in the house. There's a scary thing floating? Where? The house. Baby, there's nothing there. Yes, it is. No, there's not. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. No, just kind of savvy. Clean my room. Try to clean mommy. Clean my room. Clean this savvy. Oh, clean my room. Oh, mommy, clean me. Okay. Scary. It genuinely looks like something caught his eye and he's seen something. Now as it progressed, it almost seemed like maybe the kid was playing at the end, but it still seemed very genuine. I would be pretty creeped out if my kid said something like that. In a situation like this, what would you do if your kid said something like this and acted like that? How do you handle that? Do you just go into the room and pretend that there's nothing in the house? Do you sage the house? Like what do you do? Because obviously the kid's seeing something that's there that's not there. It could be an overactive imagination. 
imagination or he could see ghosts. I just find it really hard for a kid that age to make something up like that, you know? Yo, I just saw something else really, really spooky about the end of the Olympics. Generally, I don't make more than one video about the same topic, but y'all have got to see this crap. Look very closely in the background. These are graves. I cannot even believe I did not notice this the first time. But not only are there graves right here, it seems the natives had a name for Beezlebub as well. To the native people, this right here is Manted. And whenever he's around, the greys show up. It's literally the same thing. In case you didn't know, the Fallen Angels and Nephilim go by different names to different cultures. Statue of Liberty, Apollyon, Abaddon, Apollo, Helios, the list goes on. Quick crazy fact, the face of the Statue of Liberty is actually Nero Caesar, who is also depicted as Apollyon on his money towards 70 AD. Anyways, and the Super Bowl commercial at the beginning of the year was also about aliens. Check it out. It's not these. There he is. So what do you know? We have the greys again popping up at a mass ceremony. What would you think this means? Let me know in the comments. And after the greys worship Beezlebub or Mainted, we have Beezlebub paying homage to the headless angel of light coming from the abyssos to the bottomless pit. Now when it comes to the Olympics, I did not watch any of it. I just been seeing pieces of it here and there online because it's just been extremely, extremely meme heavy. It just seems like every single day that the Olympics were going, there was a new meme coming out of something that happened. But this is the first I've heard of this. This is kind of wild to me. I don't know if I necessarily believe it to be actual aliens or anything, but it could be a bigger message being told. Let me know what you guys think about this and let me know what did you guys think about the olympics this guy uh he goes by the tiktok handle j foy or j dot foy he claims that his grandfather is the zodiac i seen this it really checks out a lot yeah. so first off bro his grandpa's name was richard hoffman he was a vallejo police officer yeah which was in the same area where the zodiac was a bunch of People, mm -hmm. right even the guy showed images that i can show you as well or you probably see them already yeah, like the sketches and, right yeah of when they said what he would look like when he was older and when he was younger he literally looks like both I exactly see, see. and then what was super weird as well is the zodiac killer he would spell until wrong and he would spell it U-N-T-I-L-L. -L. His grandpa always spelled it wrong all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And then Zodiac Killer also spells it just like him. Yes. And then the craziest part, too, was when one of the first killings of the Zodiac Killer that was ever discovered, and it was a girl that his grandpa knew, and they had history. His first killing, he left a note there by the body, and it wrote, like, this whole thing out of whatever, basically saying, you know, it's like well, his first Zodiac letter, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of it, it was initialed R. H. Mm. And his grandpa's initials was Richard Hoffman. I mean, his name is yeah, Richard, Richard Hoffman. Hoffman. Yeah. He had killed this girl like in North Carolina or something like that. Like it wasn't even in California, it was somewhere else. That girl's brother was in the Marines with Richard Hoffman. Ah. Oh, like they were in the, the military together. And then I seen another thing where there was this girl, pretty much she ended up getting killed by someone driving unmarked vehicle. Yes. And his grandpa at the time was in Vallejo yes. with the unmarked police car. Police car. When that girl died, he showed up five minutes after her death. Yes. That was weird as well and she used to kind of date that guy richard hoffman yes and i guess that they had gotten pulled over or something like that one time and the dude that she was dating at the time he said that she literally said oh my god that's richard hoffman he's gonna us yeah that's what she said she said he's gonna us if it comes out that his that they actually find the zodiac yeah bro that's so crazy because that's like two of the most famous series that took him dummy long to find. Yeah, and what are the odds? He cracked the case on TikTok. I have actually seen the video of the guy telling the story of his grandfather possibly being the Zodiac Killer. It's a very long video, and that's the reason why I did not keep it in here. It's like 10 minutes long and a little bit longer than that. It's like 12 minutes long. If all of that information is true, this is really big. Let me know what you guys think of this. Do you think this to be a true story of this person's grandfather being the Zodiac Killer? Or do you think that this is just a made up hoax to get a bunch of views on TikTok?
All I can say is there's no way that that's a natural formation, right? I would also have to know what's in there. Y'all, just watch this trail cam footage and tell me what you think it is. The trail cam was set up in the woods to take pictures of game, but they caught something else, and I don't, I don't know what this could be. It goes behind the deer, and the deer even notices it. It almost looks like a walk-in totem pole. It just looks like several things stacked on top of each other walking around. Trail cams have become very useful for catching paranormal stuff out in the middle of the woods. I've even had followers submit stuff to me where they've caught stuff in their house that normal cameras wouldn't catch with trail cams. And the world is so vast, there's no way we know about everything that's out there. But this one, this one is pretty, pretty strange. It makes you wonder what's lurking in the woods that we don't know about. Some people have even said that it's some sort of alien. But take another look at the video and tell me what you think. Because I have no idea on this one. Don't forget to like and follow for more strange content. That genuinely did look like a floating totem pole just moving right along. It was fast and it did look like the deer realized that there was something behind it. What that could have been, no clue. I would really like to know though. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. As always, if you found any of these clips interesting, links are in the description for each one that we watched. And with that being said, have a good day.